The starting point in the production of an MGB door is a collection of nine steel pressings. All these parts are pressed for British Motor Heritage by Taylor Press Form in Leamington Spa using the same press dies that were part of the original MGB production. Heritage has the original press tooling for a number of those cars of the 60s and 70s including the MG and Transports cars and the classic Mini. Here we see the first of seven press operations that form the shape of the outer skin of the door. A pre-sized sheet of steel has been manually curved so that it will sit in the press. The press die is in three main parts, the top die and the inner and outer bottom dies. When the top die comes down to meet the outer part of the bottom die, the sheet of steel is firmly clamped in between the two. These then come down over the inner part of the bottom die and the basic shape of the door skin is formed between this and the top die. The second press operation trims the excess metal from around the edges of the skin. The following five operations will turn up the flanges, cut the notches at the top and pierce the handle and lock holes. Completed skins, together with the inners and other parts, are placed into stock back at Heritage's Whitney factory. When it's time for the production of complete doors, they will be picked from stock along with the other pressings, typically in batches of 100 doors at a time. The first stage of production is to pierce those holes and openings in the edges of the door inner that were not part of the press shop process. The inner is firmly clamped into a jig and first, the holes for the door lock are pierced. Next, the holes that the hinges will pass through. The panel is taken out of the jig and the access holes in the top front edge are pierced followed by the rest of those for the door lock. The next operation to the inner is to add the weld nuts followed by the strengthening plate that will hold the lock. Another jig is used to assemble the smaller interior parts of the door and each is held in place with a single spot weld. Once in place, the panel is taken out of the jig and their attachment is completed with the floor standing vertical spot welder. The outer door skin is laid in the last of the special jigs. A bead of sealant is applied all around the edges that will be in contact with the door inner. The inner is placed into position and the clamps closed up all round. It's spot welded at the bottom front and top corners, then the flanges are partly worked over with a hammer round the corners of the rear bottom and top front. The skin is clinched to the inner along the front, rear and bottom edges in the hydraulically operated clinching machine. As for all external panel assemblies, a certain amount of finishing has to be done. Recall this straightening, although the process is mainly one of adding the final areas of brazing and MIG welding, then removing a small amount of excess metal from some places. The outer surfaces are examined and worked to a level suitable for standard primer and top coat finishes to be applied. These doors, like all other heritage panel assemblies, are sent to an industrial process for coating by full immersion 
in an electrophoretic primer. All parts made in our Whitney factory using original press dies and assembly tooling carry our well-known dark blue and yellow heritage label. 